With each enamoring picture caught by the James Webb Space Telescope, it keeps on getting thoughts from different corners of the universe, including planets inside our own planetary framework. A year sooner, we contemplated our most memorable brief look at pictures showing the Carina Cloud, Stepan Quintet, and strikingly, the spellbinding deep field picture. This specific picture clearly portrays various universes loosening up into the gigantic spread of the universe, fulfilling the presumption made. The James Webb Space Telescope hasn't halted to amaze. It has, as of late, revealed objects that challenge laid-out cosmological thoughts. These astonishing revelations are now set apart as universe breakers by cosmologists, bewildering the scientific community with their capacity to resist existing ideas. The purposes for these disclosures remain covered in mystery, tossing our hypotheses and speculations into confusion. So, what's the most recent scoop from the James Webb Telescope? What unprecedented new discoveries has it revealed that were previously obscure to us? Join us as we jump into the disclosures of how the James Webb Telescope has introduced proof suggesting the presence of another universe, testing the norm comprehension of the Big Bang. Our universe, as we've long perceived, emerged from a more smoking, denser state, past a hypothesis known as the Hot Big Bang. This thought, a huge scientific accomplishment throughout the last century, acquired overwhelming help during the 1960s with the discovery of the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, a leftover from the early hot and thick state. Over the long run, the Big Bang has remained the prevailing hypothesis making sense of our universe's origins. Anyway, new and critical observations have driven cosmologists and astrophysicists to address both the constant extension and the Big Bang itself. Regardless of these difficulties, elective speculations have neglected to acquire energy, stressing the persevering nature of the theory of the universe's origin. As per the general viewpoint, the portrayal of the universe's starting point includes a more modest, denser universe in the far-off past. The presence of radiation, like photons, shows that the universe was hotter at its beginning and has since cooled. Extrapolating in reverse in time, the thickness, temperature, and energy levels arrive at a point where a peculiarity could form and the normal laws of material science separate at around backslash 10 carat minus 43 backslash seconds during the board time. In such a short period, little distances, brief lengths, and high energy scales challenge our comprehension, rewinding the immense clock to the speculative zero point. If the universe started as hot and thick, then it extended and cooled, immense amounts of particles and antiparticles would have been made, with overabundance particles destroyed by radiation. As temperatures decreased, the breakdown of the electroweak and Higgs balances prompted the four crucial powers and particles with non-zero masses. As the universe cooled further, protons and neutrons formed composite particles called quarks and gluons. The blend of protons and neutrons led to the arrangement of light cores, for example, deuterium, helium, 3, helium, 4, and lithium, 7. Overdense areas experience development due to radiation pressure, followed by gravitational breakdown, prompting the advancement of huge scope structures. Around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe cooled enough for stable neutral particles to form, marking a critical step where photons decoupled and their frequencies extended as the universe developed. The discovery of the cosmic microwave background quite a long time ago solidified the hypothesis of the early astronomical blast as the most supported explanation for the universe's creation. While most cosmologists and astrophysicists embraced the Big Bang theory, lively advocates of the steady-state hypothesis like Fred Hoyle proceeded to safeguard increasingly far-fetched claims, only to confront route notwithstanding overwhelming proof. The proof presented was definitive. It wasn't blurring starlight or reflected heat from dust. The grandiose gleam showed an astounding consistency in all directions, looking like an optimal black body, yet it had no association with known objects in the universe. In spite of this, Hoyle and his adherents proceeded to block logical advancement by supporting tentatively misguided thoughts. In the meantime, the fields of space science and cosmology experienced exceptional development from the 1960s through the 2000s, with cosmology seeing especially striking headways. We outlined the tremendous universe and described its structure for a great scope. We investigated the advancement, development, and dynamic connection of worlds and their heavenly populaces. However, regardless of these advances, 
we experienced inconsistencies that resisted clarification within the framework of the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation. Observations uncovered disparities that challenged the prescient force of the theory of how things came to be, most quite the non-attendance of exotic particles predicted by the hypothesis, for example, magnetic monopoles or particles from grand unification. The universe we see today appears to require powers beyond our ongoing understanding, yet these remain subtle at its origin. The universe required an exact development rate to adjust the total energy density, an accomplishment that the theory of the universe's origin battles to legitimize, achieving neither firm balance nor adequate time for energy exchange across different districts of space given the universe's limitlessness and its extension over time. These abnormalities present huge difficulties for cosmology and the scientific community. All in all, when speculations fail to represent noticed abnormalities, two approaches emerge. Refine existing hypotheses or consider other option clarifications. The hypothesis of inflation arose as the most promising hypothetical framework for extending the Big Bang perspective. Inflation proposes a time of rapid development, smoothing out the universe and enriching it with uniform properties. It addresses the horizon issue and predicts the arrangement of quantum variances, which manifest as thickness and temperature varieties. Prominently, inflation's forecasts line up with notice designs and varieties, supporting its legitimacy. While elective hypotheses exist, inflation's logical strength remains unequaled. Anyway, notwithstanding past commitments to general relativity and singularities, Roger Penrose's work, counting his coordinated effort with Stephen Hawking, neglected to match the advancement of inflation in making sense of the universe's earliest moments. As of late, there has been conscious work to sabotage the believability of inflation theory, pushing rather for conformal cyclic cosmology, which is intrinsically imperfect from a logical viewpoint. The key qualification lies in their forecasts. Conformal cyclic cosmology sets that remainders from a universe going before the Big Bang are engraved in the cosmic microwave background and the enormous scope structure of the universe. Interestingly, inflation theory maintains that the place where inflation ends and a hot Big Bang begins ought to be causally detached from any pre-Big Bang area. Each part of our universe shows astounding characteristics, proposing that we ought to depend on the universe itself to uncover what is valid, rather than simply relying upon hypothesis. Overlooking starting shocks, cosmologists immediately perceived peculiarities in the pictures sent by the James Webb Space Telescope beginning around 2022. These disclosures might require a reassessment of key parts of the universe's origins and evolution. One significant disclosure made by the Webb Telescope was the presence of full-grown universes a whole lot sooner than expected by the standard model of cosmology. This inconsistency challenges the laid-out arrangement of occasions following the Big Bang, where stars and black holes form first, followed by the development of galaxies. Such revelations upset our understanding, similar to experiencing grandparents depicted as youngsters in a story. Besides, ongoing proof has revealed peculiarities inside science's essential hypotheses about the universe, such as the continuous disparity in determining the Hubble constant, which continues regardless of upgrades in data precision and assortment strategies. Furthermore, Additional new information from the Webb Telescope increases existing difficulties to the current cosmological model. These issues highlight blemishes inside the actual model, inciting inquiries among cosmologists and physicists. While the model has gone through changes over the past 50 years to line up with a rising information, some contend that these progressions have been too helpful. Thus, there is growing acknowledgement that a change in context might essential potentially reshape how we interpret the universe's major properties. The standard model of cosmology, hailed as a victory of human knowledge, rose out of Edwin Hubble's momentous revelation of the extending universe during the 1920s. Subsequent revelations, like the cosmic microwave background radiation in 1964, confirmed the hypothesis of the universe's starting point, portraying the early universe as a hot, thick soup of subatomic particles continuously cooling over time. However, accomplishing the current level of accuracy in cosmological understanding has required hypothetical extrapolation past observational information. Boundless expansion, proposed in 1981, was introduced to resolve abnormalities in prior Big Bang models, further highlighting the unique nature of cosmological hypothesis. As per this hypothesis, the early universe went through quick, exceptional development for a brief period following the Big Bang. 
While certain issues are settled by this thought, new difficulties arise, especially taking into account the normal faith in the presence of one universe, potentially innumerable others beyond our observational reach. Certain discernible oddities, like hypersingularities inside black holes, find help through circuitous proof. Anyway, the amazing discoveries of the Webb Space Telescope concerning the development of galaxies and the continuous issue with the Hubble constant raises worries that we might be moving toward a tipping point where a critical upgrade of our current cosmological model becomes essential. This could require a reassessment of the essential building blocks of the universe, counting the actual idea of existence itself. Cosmology, not at all like numerous other logical fields, manages major inquiries about the universe, its origins, and the role of observers within it. The investigation of consciousness and quantum material science dives into comparative subjects, investigating the convergence of hypothesis and reality, testing major presumptions that support our understanding. Testing suspicions, like the strength of actual regulations over the long haul, has been proposed by researchers, for example, Roberto Mangabira Unger and physicist Lee Smolin, who recommend that actual regulations may evolve and change over time, testing the customary way of thinking. Physicist John Wheeler even proposes that every perception can impact the universe's past and future, significantly reconsidering logical practices. It is fundamental to examine these basic presumptions, given the effect of hypothetical suppositions on information assortment. History has shown that disturbances in logical idea, such as the shift from geocentrism to heliocentrism or the disclosures of development and relativity, have prompted significant changes in social viewpoints. A comparable effect on our understanding may be normal from any impending logical upset in cosmology. Philosopher Robert Krantz contends that hypothesis becomes fundamental at the point when further logical request neglects to give good solutions to a question. The continuous discussion places around whether hypothesis is expected to address cosmological basics. If modifying existing models demonstrates inadequate, a total update of our comprehension of the universe might turn into fundamental. Ongoing advances in observational technology have changed how we interpret the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its cutting-edge instruments, permits stargazers to peer farther back in time than at any other time, catching light from the early universe that has traveled billions of years to contact us. This capacity has transformed our insight of astronomical history, uncovering designs and oddities that challenge long-held convictions. One of the most critical ramifications of Webb's revelations is the potential for rethinking the course of events of astronomical advancement. For example, the disclosure of mature galaxies only a couple hundred million years after the Big Bang raises questions about the speed and nature of galaxy development. This perception suggests that the cycles overseeing star and galaxy advancement may have been more complicated and productive than previously understood. The ramifications of this test assumptions about the continuous development of large structures propose that large-scale star formation might have happened a whole lot sooner than current models anticipate. Additionally, the identification of exceptional patterns in the cosmic microwave background radiation, combined with data from Webb, demonstrates that our universe might be more homogeneous and isotropic than the Big Bang model can completely make sense of. This has ignited discussions about the probability of a multiverse, where our universe is simply one of many, each with its own unique properties. Such a worldview wouldn't just reclassify how we figure out actual regulations, but also broaden the limits of logical inquiry as we may not be capable of straightforwardly noticing different universes. As cosmologists continue to investigate the information from Webb, the potential for finding exoplanets habitable zones around far-off stars has reignited interest in astrobiology. The investigation of the conditions of these exoplanets could yield bits of knowledge into the compound marks of life beyond Earth. Researchers are especially quick to recognize biomarkers, substances that could demonstrate the presence of organic cycles. This search could at last lead to significant philosophical inquiries about our place in the universe and whether we are distant from everyone else in the immeasurability of space. Also, late revelations from Webb have incited a reconsideration of dark matter and dark energy, two of the universe's most puzzling components. The inconsistencies seen in galaxy rotation curves and the circulation of vast structures may suggest new associations or particles that vary from existing hypothetical models.